So, between the last episode and today, I spent quite a lot of time working on Shiro Side Quest. And if you're new here on the channel, this is the game we're developing on my Dog Godot series. And the plan was to start creating a flexible way to give enemies more attacks to, you know, complete the bullet hell experience. And fun fact, I broke everything. So to fix that, all I had to do was fix what I created, fix the frame rate, create dynamic classes to use in the game script, and fix everything once again. And since it will take ages to say all of the steps that got me here, today I'll simply talk about the most hard thing I ever had to learn. Optimization. Basically, after making the rotating attack, we only had one small problem. That is that after like 1200 bullets, the game would slow down so much, it was basically unplayable. Researching around, I found out that I had two options. One is the object pooling, which in Godot doesn't really make any difference, on my experience at least, but I tried anyway. And the second option are the servers. If you also new in Godot just like me, don't know what servers are or you never simply use them, servers are what Godot uses in the source code, as far as I understood at least, to have all the possible control over various aspects of the engine, but we need to go in order of stuff happening, so here's the small story about my experience with object pooling. Object pooling is a mechanism used in languages like Chiash or, well, GDScript 2 if you want, to instance new objects, and when you stop using them or they simply should vanish, you keep them loaded just in case you need them again so you don't have to waste the resources spawning them again. And I found this guy on YouTube that was really helpful with it, though I realized almost a week later that wasn't really of use because the last bit of code couldn't be ported, as far as I'm aware, in Godot 4. I tried to make my own and at first it seemed to work, but after a while the projectile would confuse themselves and not inherit the correct values for the scene I was testing. For a while I threw this part of the project away because in the meantime I was also looking at how servers work. And well, luck wasn't really on my part on this. And I don't understand what any of these mean, so yeah. I'm not really the guy to look at docs, but there was almost no tutorials about these guys. But this guy actually made something. This helped me understanding a bit of how they worked, but still not enough for my use case. And at this point I spent like 3 days since the start of this whole video, so I went on reddit, asked what I was missing, and moral of the story, no one knew. The code was correct, ready, good, and yet I couldn't get any signal for the collision. And I watched this video again, that I saw like a bit more than a week prior and even far before to see if maybe I could have understand something more. And this is the Holy Grail, the destined land. I don't know, but this is what I needed. And the performance with this may not be what Siash or someone with more experience could do, but hey, now I can get solid FPS around the 600. And in this video, he even used the physics server which I was trying to learn for the past week and a half. So the question now is, did I just waste a week and a half of my time for nothing? Or maybe the performance we all seek are the friends we make along the way.